Martin. He is assisted at the altar by Deacon John, Jim Adloff and our sem seminarian, Kevin. The third Sunday of Advent is called Gaudete Sunday because today's opening antiphon begins with the word Gaudete, which means rejoice. We rejoice today for the coming of the Lord is so near that we cannot help but think about it. Perhaps we are starting to feel overwhelmed by all we need to do between now and Christmas. Let this be an opportunity to refocus our attention on the true reason we celebrate this time of year. Rejoice, the Lord is near. So that we might all be wholly attentive to our prayer and praise to God during this service, we ask that you please turn off your cell phones at this time if you have not already done so. Please join in our entrance song in the worship aid, Come, Behold the Wondrous Mystery. Please stand. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Indeed, indeed, the Lord is near. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we do celebrate the third week of Advent. Today is a wonderful opportunity to rejoice in all that God has given us. Today's Mass is offered for the intention of Randy Clark. As we begin the third week of Advent, we anticipate Christmas, and so we ask Christ to grant us His grace that we might be prepared for the welcoming His birth. While well, Dalte Sunday is an opportunity to rejoice. We gather around the Advent candle to welcome the light, the light that guides our journey, the light that will accompany our preparation. But before we light the light, let us spend a moment reflecting on the journey we have been making. How much progress have we made in our journey?
We light the candle that offers God's light to us as we continue to climb God's mountain this Advent season. Let us pray. God of our journey, as we light this candle, we ask you to send your blessings upon us. May your word teach us to teach us the patience we need as we continue our Advent journey. As we draw near to you, Lord God, keep us aware of your presence in all that we do. Come with power to enlighten us by your grace, that we may live in praise and peace all our days. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And our candle is almost lit. <laughs> and there we go. We light our candle of joy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned within my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I'd fail to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christie Let us pray. O oh God, who sees how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of, your, of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us be seated as we listen attentively to our readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. 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 My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. The Almighty has done great. 
great things for me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. My soul A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify through the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of the one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. 
Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize, if you are not the Christ, or Elijah, or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptized. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, everyone. Are we all having a moment of deja vu? A morning of question? It's like, Father, did we not just read that reading last Sunday? Has anybody caught on to that? It's the same reading from last Sunday. Except this reading comes from John. Last Sunday's came from Mark. So, it's a bit of confusing when we're trying to prepare homilies and we're trying to write this and we're like, well, what message are we going to deliver that we didn't already deliver last week? Do we repeat the same message or do we look for another way to, to deliver God's message? And so it takes a moment and that's what this journey is all about. This journey is about taking your time to reflect on exactly what God is looking for and what God is asking of us. It's not something that's going to be instantaneously, that poof, it comes into your head. It takes time to craft, to meditate, to hear God's voice in this journey. And so we turn to the first reading, and it was in the first reading that it, it comes to life. It's all this beautifulness that God has given to us, all these wonderful gifts that God has given to us. He has taken away our pain. He has taken away our anxiety. He has taken away our ill. He simply asks one thing of us, is to have faith and to remember him, to keep our faith strong in him and not to lose our faith, to rejoice in that he is in our life and the gifts that he continues to give us. This whole past week was a bunch of gifts that we have received. Gifts like saints. We had numerous saints days this past week. We had the immaculate conception of our blessed mother. Last night, yesterday, we had the image of the Virgen de Guadalupe, an image of a woman who has come here to the Americas, to bring us a message of peace, hope, and love. To remind us that's what we're called to do, to live in a life of peace, hope, and love, which means that we love our neighbors, which means that we forgive our brothers and sisters for whatever transgressions they have given to us. We are called to rejoice that God never forgets his promise that he will always journey with us, that we don't journey on this road by ourselves, but we journey with him. Where is our faith? Is our faith placed in man or is it placed in the Lord? How many of you lifted up your voices? Rudy, can you play this real quick for me? How many of you lifted up your voices at our responsorial song? The song that Mary sang as Jesus is coming upon her, as Jesus has chosen her. And how does it go, Rudy? My soul rejoices in my God. My soul rejoices in my God. So brothers and sisters, let us lift up our voices as Rudy plays it one more time to say that my soul rejoices in my God. Because when we put and we put our place in our heads and our minds that Jesus, our Lord, rejoice, that I rejoice in my Lord, we take it in upon ourselves and our mood immediately changes and immediately is transformed to remember that God is here and God is in here. 
So I had to trans, trans, you know, I had to think about my Protestant brothers because that's mostly what our Protestant brothers will do. They'll sing it out loud. And they've got it right. They've got it right because it's not just words that they're singing, but it's the, the words that are coming into them and being transforming them into that message, that message of being rejoiceful in the things that we have been given by our Lord. The gifts that God has given us, we are called to be rejoiceful for. And the things yet to come, we are to be rejoiceful. And we look at each one of them in that way. This journey that God has put us on, this year has been transformative for a lot of people. It has brought a lot of darkness upon a lot of people. But for you all who continue to come and who continue are faithful to watch on Facebook and YouTube because you just can't make it here, but you believe in the Lord, allow that verse, that verse, that beautiful verse, my soul proclaims the goodness of the Lord. My God, you have transformed me. You have been a light for me in this path that we are leading. Come, come into me today. Come into me and transform me that I may rejoice that you are in my life. So brothers and sisters, as we said, the journey continues, right? Part of being rejoicing is to laugh out loud. Just to laugh out loud. And so God has blessed us here in the church and we want to turn that blessing and bless you guys as well. So, we have purchased a book, one book per family. We invite you to take one book for family, per family. It's I Heard God Laugh. It's Matthew West's new book that just came out. Um, or Matthew Kelly, I'm sorry, Matthew West. Matthew Kelly's new book that just came out. Um, it is an incredible little book just about how we heard God laugh and how he transforms our hearts. And so we invite you to take one of those. But the gifts don't just stop there, right? Tonight, amidst this crazy weather that we're having, first of all, if you weren't here and weren't able to participate yesterday, the celebration that we had for the Vita and the Guadalupe was incredibly beautiful. And if you didn't get a chance to see it and you missed it, go to our Facebook page, go to our YouTube channel and watch it. Watch the amount of love and the outpour of our brothers and sisters from Mexico pour out onto our Blessed Mother the, the gift that she has given us and the transformation that she gives to us. She's here to be an aid for us, to guide our hearts and our minds to her son, not to herself, but to her son. We had a lady that flew in from... Um, Monterrey, Mexico, and she lit this place on fire with her love for the Lord and her voice and her gift. So if you didn't get a chance to watch it, go on there and watch it. It is incredibly beautiful. There's some people that were here in the back that are saying, yes, it was incredibly beautiful, and you should watch it and give an opportunity to increase. But it didn't just end there because tonight, tonight, we're going to have a concert here, a Christmas concert. And these men come from all over the world. We have some from Poland. We have some from uh, Spain. We have some from Mexico. We have some from even here from the United States who are coming in here to give us a beautiful Christmas concert. It is them sharing their life, their light of Christ with us. It is to bring us into the next week as we are only uh, 12 days away from Christmas. In 12 short days, Christ will be coming in. So how have you prepared your hearts? We're here to prepare it with joy and not sadness.
not sorrow, but gladness. Brothers and sisters, today we are called to rejoice in the Lord and let our hearts proclaim his good news. Let us take this beautiful message that he has given to us outside those doors and transform the world because that's what he calls us to do, to use our voices, use our bodies to transform the world so the rest of this world can also rejoice. Amen? Amen. Let us all stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For our men and for our salvation he came down from the heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He's ascended into heaven and it is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess to one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Calling to mind our needs and anticipating the season of generosity, we turn to God who gives us the great gift of all. For the church, that our words and actions may testify to the light, so that others may realize the goodness of God in what we say and do, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That justice and peace may spring up before our nations, all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For prophets of our time who boldly proclaim the truth as they stand up for what is right and good and worthy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the brokenhearted, captives and prisoners, that they may know a year of favor from the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, especially Wanda Reichart, wife of Danny Reb Reichart, Don Boone, uncle of Shannon Henson, Michael Herman, nephew of Tom and Kay Herman, and Lisa Wyatt, niece of Randy Christopher, that they may discover reasons for joy in an unexpected windfall of divine blessing and the respectful love of the followers of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed, that the God of peace may make them blameless and perfectly holy, worthy to behold him face to face in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we rejoice heartily in your generosity. We have done great things, you have done great things for us. Remembering your promise of mercy, look with favor on your creation and hear the prayers we make through the one who is coming. We long for Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our blessed mother and ask her to intercede for us as we all say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us be seated as we prepare the altar of sacrifice. Friendly reminder that we do not have collection baskets, but we do have boxes in the back for our weekly collections. 
In addition to our weekly collections, we do have a second collection today, and it's for the retirement fund of the religious order. So not the priest order, but the religious order. And so we ask you to be as generous as you possibly can. And we thank you for your generosity. In the darkness we were waiting without hope, without light. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unseasonably to complete what was begun in the sacred mysteries, the powerful accomplishment for us, your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It truly is right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond untelling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. 
it is by the, his gift that we already that we already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that we may find us watchful in prayer and exalt in his praise and so with the angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with the host and the powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and you make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to the setting of your sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and his ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin, Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and with the glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession and your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, to be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Gregory, our auxiliary, auxiliary Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world and to our departed brothers and sisters. And to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom 
There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you have bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. <clears throat> we implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine substance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we'd like to thank you for worshiping with us in a special way. Welcome to all of our family and friends on Facebook, YouTube channels, and our website channels. We also welcome some familiar faces that have been missing, and we're glad that you're back, and we're certainly invited to come back at every Mass this, this year, this coming year, right? Come back to join us. A um, couple of announcements. Oh, this is in Spanish. Where's the English part? Uh, your last opportunity for Advent Confessions is this Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. You also have an opportunity on Saturday after the 8 a.m. Mass, 8 a.m. Mass at St. Mary's Church. So this is the last week before Christmas to come in and to uh, receive the uh, reconciliation. Christmas Novena cards are available in the Narthex if you would like to have someone remembered this Christmas Novena of Masses. So they are English and in Spanish up in the Narthex. There will be a second collection next weekend for the Christmas flowers to decorate the church. So please, if you can remember to be as generous as possible, we greatly would appreciate it. Um, we also have two gentlemen here, yes? from the Redentores Matres Seminary, will be presenting a Christmas concert tonight at 7 p.m. here at St. Anne's Church. And so to talk about it is Luis. Yeah, Luis, come on up. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Luis Juarez. I'm a, I'm a seminarian from the Redemptoris Mater Seminary, the Diocesan Missionary Seminary here of the Diocese of Dallas. Uh, like Father Martin was saying, we're going to be presenting a concert tonight, a Christmas concert tonight. All the brothers from the seminarians and other brothers that are not seminarians are going to be, we're going to be presenting this concert tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, and we, were, we just came here to invite you all. We're going to be here in all the masses, uh, inviting everyone to see if everybody, if anybody wants to come and uh, come and rejoice with us, really. Now we're not just here to put on a show. We're here to spread the joy of of Christ, of the salvific message of Christ, in, in this Advent season and in the coming Christmas time, in the cr coming Christmas season. So I invite. Uh, we wanted to invite you. We're going to be uh, Jose Manuel and I. We're going to be selling tickets after the mass. Uh, tickets are going for twenty dollars for the adults, and for kids it's five. Uh, kids twelve and under, uh, it's going to be five dollars for the kids. So hopefully you can find it in your heart to come and join us and come and sing with us, come and worship with us. We're going to have carols from all over the world, since we are an international seminary. We have brothers from uh, from Europe, from Poland, Italy, Spain. Uh, I'm from Houston. Jose Manuel is from Corsicana. Uh, we have brothers from Brazil, from all over the place. So we're going to have carols from all over the place. Uh, so hopefully you can come and join us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here, yeah? Again, all the donations and the sales of these tickets go to the seminary there at Redemptores Matres, which is located in Oak Cliff. And it is their way, their missionary seminary, and so it's their way of paying their way through their seminary life. So we thank them for being here. And what a special gift because it's not easy for them. They're in Oak Cliff. So you're talking about an hour, hour and 15, 20 minutes drive for them in this weather. And they're willing to come up here to do a concert. And they're only doing four or five concerts throughout the, four concerts throughout the whole diocese. And they chose our parish to say yes, to come and celebrate this beautiful Advent season. And so we thank them for being here. We will have social distancing. So are the, the same distancing here, which means we're only going to sell 400 tickets. So um, it's first come, first serve in this aspect. And uh, But they will be willing to accept any do cash donations or check donation. Yeah, if you'd like to make a donation to them, we gladly would appreciate it. And last but not least, as we said, we have, I just, what did I do with the book? We have an Advent book for you. Not an Advent, but a Christmas present for you. It is I Heard God Laugh by Matthew Kelly. Um, 
and so it is in the back in the narthex and we invite each one of each family so it's one per family to take a copy for yourselves at home and we thank you thank you thank you for being here and celebrating this beautiful advent season as we rejoice oh here it is i as we uh, rejoice in advent season so the lord be with you bow your heads for the blessing May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by his radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. As you run the race of, his, of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen so that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endured with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us all rejoice that God has given us this beautiful light and this day. Amen? Amen. Have a wonderful week. God bless us. Be safe. And I pray that most of you will be here tonight.